next joint is a groove joint. To cut this joint, we're going to need several things. Tape measure, pencil, the table saw, and these two pieces, this piece with the angle, and this quarter inch plywood piece. First, we're going to be making the cut on the short edge, not the long edge, but the short edge, the angle angles down this way, so we're making the cut on the short edge. So we want to measure the, how high of a cut we're going to make, so we're going to use a mark on this board to set our blade height. That mark, as the directions say, is 3 8 so I'm measuring 3 8 of an inch up. Once we've made our 3 8 of an inch mark, we can use a little pencil trick using our finger up against the edge. We can go to the line and then we can, going along, we can transfer that mark along the edge. That gives us a bigger target for when setting our blade height. So we're going to adjust that blade height so it's right at that mark. Then you can always lower it a little bit because you can always cut more off later, but you can't add more wood to it. So we're going to now make that cut. We need to set our fence so it's going to cut in the center of our piece. We can just eye that up because we will be making additional cuts on either side of this cut. I'm going to put our guard in place so that we can still fit our push stick through. So now we can go ahead and make our cut. Make sure you keep your fingers back. We'll hold this piece tight to the fence. Then use the push stick. At this point, we want to check our depth of cut. We're going to measure right here. That should be 3 8. We have to raise it a little bit. Then it through again. Now we're right on. Now that we have our depth of cut set, we need to set the width so that our plywood piece will fit into the groove. Now we've been sending our board through with the angle forward. To center this cut, we're going to rotate it this way and send it through. So now we'll have equal distances from the fence on both cuts. Now it's a little wider, but I can see already the plywood is not going to fit. We need to take the fence, nudge it a little bit to the right, it through, center through that way. Now we're going to rotate it. Now we're going to check it again. It should be able to fit in, but it shouldn't be so tight that it can't slide back and forth. So this is actually a very good joint right there.